Hi, this is Bob Dennis. Um, I'm trying to make a concept uh, prototype for the Hack Event Challenge for making emergency ventilators during this crisis that we're all suffering in. The concept is very simple to automate the use of a manual resuscitation bag, also called an ambu bag or a, a, valve, a bag valve mask. These are everywhere, every ambulance and every crash cart, every emergency room, everywhere across the country. Um, there should be millions or tens of millions of these already widely distributed everywhere. So when you squeeze the bag, you get air through the mask. There's a port on the back where you can actually add supplemental oxygen so the person can get both positive pressure on their airway as well as supplemental oxygen if they need it. You can also use this with a standard mask like this or a laryngeal mask airway on LMA. Anybody who's in the business would know what that is. And the concept here is very simple. So the concept is to squeeze that bag using a motor between two paddles, but you don't want to have a big heavy motor that you have to hold over somebody's head. So the idea here is that you've got two paddles, you put the bag between them, and you strap them together with Velcro. You actuate the paddles by pulling on literally a bicycle brake cable. I lubricated this one by burnishing a little bit with uh, graphite, but you know, basically didn't even need to do that. So the way that it works is very simple. Take a motor. This is a very standard industrial automation um, gearhead motor, 120 volts. Runs at, uh, you can buy these 12 volts or 120 volts. This one's uh, 20 revolutions per minute, but it's variable speed. When you turn it on, you'll notice, here I'll turn it on, it doesn't have a bag in it right now, but when it's running, you'll notice it's going at about breathing speed. You can speed it up, slow it down with a variable adjuster right here. Turn it off for a second. Basically all it's doing is pulling the bike cable. This is a gear head motor, just on some aluminum extrusion attached to a controller. You can buy the motor in the controller from amazon.com or any industrial supply house off the shelf for about a hundred bucks. All right, so I've got this control, this uh, motor sitting here, and then I wanna go ahead and place the bag between the paddles. Here's the bag, here's the paddles. Put the bag between the paddles like this, Velcro, done. So that when you turn it on, this is what you get. The bag contract, you know, squeezes and releases, squeezes and releases, just like that. Just because the cable is being pulled by the motor, here's the motor turning, pulling the cable, releasing it. You can increase or decrease the speed, and it'll pump air through the mask just as if somebody was squeezing the manual bag manually. If you need to get rid of the motor and everything, it's very light, adds very little weight. I'm sure that with a little bit of design, you can do a lot better job than just paddles like I did. These are just pieces of 5 16 inch thick uh, um, ultra high molecular weight plate, but you can do better than that, probably better than a bicycle cable. If you need this bag to be manual again, just take off the paddles. You got a manual resuscitation bag again. Anyway. Feel free to share this concept widely. The idea here is that I can, in two hours, 42 minutes, I can hack something like this. There's a lot of smart people out there. Hopefully this will inspire people to do better things faster than that. Um, and this is Bob Dennis. Hopefully that's a little bit inspiring. Hackato ergo soon. Okay.